everyone, April the Vault here. Welcome back to more Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil and Me. Let's go ahead and just jump right back in. I'll see you back in just a sec. Won't you spare me over till another Hello, curator. Oh. You uh -oh. dropped your feather. You're here. Have you been waiting long? No. Welcome back. I do enjoy seeing a familiar face. Me too. Last time, no one survived. I wonder if you were even trying. That's not true. Last thing I played was Little Hope, and everyone survived. It's so good to have company. For a long time, I was on my own. I can barely recall a time when I wasn't here, watching over these tales. And what good are stories without somebody to experience them? This is a story about those who create, and the lengths they might go to for their art to be made pure. Art can elicit all sorts of reactions. Delight, inspiration, desire, yes, but also doubt, fear, dread. Are you the way you describing react, the game? <laughs> the decisions you make would affect this story. Hidden in the world, you'll find dark pictures. They give glimpses of the possible consequences of your choices, and sometimes, it's the smallest choices that can have the biggest repercussions. You're responsible for what happens. You're culpable. I can't interfere. That's very much against the rules. I can only observe what happens and record any significant events. Oh. Ever seen one of these? They're very old. People used to call them obbles. They'd put them in the mouth of the recently deceased to pay the ferryman. Look out for them. You'll find them in the strangest places. I'll be happy to exchange any that you find, and I'll certainly make it worth your while. Well, shall we start? Game is afoot. I will be watching. I wonder if it's pulling my kill them all run from House of Ashes. My name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. 
You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Ticket of I bet that's what it's doing. I bet it's pulling uh, and, uh, that House of Ashes play. Uh, yeah, it's really tough when... This House of Ashes is canonically the game that comes before this. I'm not sure I've got issues to deal with, same as everyone. I, I'm working on it. I... Hey, I'm Mark. I study photography at UCLA. Um... At a great time. Really want to get back to some serious photography. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a job. I've been a key group in lighting tech for years. See a problem, light it. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I'm sick of being on my own. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or, um, like, personal info? Because I don't, I mean, will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonitz, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 years. The last series was so on track. It was, uh, it was a very beautifully conceived and, um, didn't quite, uh, uh hit the mark as I was. Hoping it would. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. You don't seem to understand. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. Bury me deep, your honor. Make sure they fill my pine box with cement. Put me deeper than anyone else and cover the ground with more cement cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. His neck did not snap from the force of hanging. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. America's first serial killer confessed to 27 murders, but his investigators sifted through the traces he left behind following his path from city to city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's first serial killer, and possibly the worst. He was buried, as requested, under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? To be honest, Charlie, this is a pilot. Hold that thought. <laughs> Lonnie Entertainment. Charles Lonnie, please. Speaking, Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this Jeez. conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course, we're in. I'll get from that, I promise. Let's do it. Mr. Dumet send you. We... Right, let's load up, guys. 
All right, got it. I'm good. There's not a chance in hell I would get in that car. Sorry. I can Are already you? tell you. I'm not getting in I that mean, car. This is that ring light that makes you all glowing. We can leave you behind it. You're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah. Wahoo. Hooray. Wahoo. Uh, this is going to be great, guys. <laughs> you sound so excited. Do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises? No. You know this just reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka. Exactly. Topeka. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, come on, Charlie. What do we know about this guy? He's rich. He's a recluse. He's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property. I was gonna say, that all sounds great. From a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. Some of the rooms are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just substantiated? Trust me. Sorry, that's a weird way to say that word. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. Nope. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Was may share information that can affect know about my this? business or lifestyle. <laughs> Absolutely there are not. Rules. All footage you wish to use must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must yeah, no. insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. I would be shoving this a phone somewhere. Asks, then we do. Fine. For the show. That's insane. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. Everything about this I hate. If this dude is so rich, shouldn't he have servants or something? Is this guy gonna help? Maybe he's house poor. <clears throat> no, really. I got it. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it. Yeah. Jackass. I'm with Jamie, I gotta be honest. Okay, so now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There, from on high we'll get a better look. That's certainly um, up there. The, the visuals will be great and we can frame up over the mist. Charlie, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, this is crazy. We'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. Hey. Shoot footage from the top of the lighthouse. Well, first things first, we have to turn around because... Oh, we gotta check out this building. No? I can't? Okay. Well, never mind then. I guess I don't need to check out this building. No? Here? No? Nothing? Hmm. I would be afraid to go up there because what if you get picked up in the meantime? You know, like what if they show up? I guess we can climb in this one. So canonically, this comes after this House of Ashes. So my best guess is yes, that this is the, the curators talking about me playing a kill them all. Or I should say filming a kill them all video. I killed them all in the end. I decided not to uh, go back and film a kill them all. Unless you guys are interested, let me know. Um, but I decided to just hey, do a uh, hurry up. We're on it. Like everyone died thing. So 
Alright, well, we can jog. I guess it's making me jog. I don't want to, though, because if I jog, I'll miss things. Oh, God. Jesus, that is loud. Man. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but... I agree. That was very loud. Oh, that so scared me. Plan a. We must be able to work our way around. Come on. Oh, okay. So it used to be something Anything there. Anything for a shot, right? Warning, cliff Doesn't erosion. Too serious. The warning about everything falling into the ocean. I'm gonna say we trust it and not die. Nah, this sign is something <laughs> the lawyers might have put up. I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> it's not fine. Hard disagree. Yeah, with Mark, hard disagree. These cliffs are subject to erosion and may collapse into deep water without warning. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. I uh, I've worked outdoors most of my adult life. It's probably gonna collapse, Mike. That's a bad thing. Listen, Plus, Mark, I just wanted to say, um, thanks for backing me up, man. What? Hmm. About getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging. To work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. <laughs> Yeah. I guess we do. Yeah, I guess we do. Okay. I'll tell you what. So far... Uh, okay, I won't lie. I was hoping being here all remote and away from the world that maybe I'd have some downtime and space to decompress. Downtime? Why would you want to do that? You know, relax a bit. I've never seen the attraction. <laughs> Well, that's odd. All right. In memory of the victims of the Great that's Storm. The great storm. Okay. The Great Storm of May 1st, 1907, in which 187 lives were lost. The crew and passengers of the SS Cassiopeia, which crashed into the rocks at the base of these cliffs. Okay. Well, that means there's probably some ghosts. We got some ghosts on this island. I guess this probably isn't an island. This is probably mainland. Right? I guess we're going to an island, maybe? Or there's just no other way to I jump? Oh, I guess I can. Okay. Gosh, it seems like we're going way out of our way here. Ooh, okay. That doesn't look creepy. Get going. Go through the hole. Okay, Mark smarter. <laughs> yeah, just go through the hole. Okay. I'm gonna hate this new mechanic, I have to be honest, because Hey, when we wrap, I'd like to take a couple weeks off. Go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that discerning eye of yours, you know. I've got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, Right, yeah, of course, sure. Take a couple of weeks. Get your head together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post on that. Because I often... Say, take oh. some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well... No, Mrs. Lonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. Married to the job? <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to accidentally Married shut that to off. The job. Okay. I'm not a huge fan of this. Uh, oh, we can balance. Okay, I'm not a huge fan of that mechanic because honestly, I uh, I've talked about this before. I often play games with my dog on my lap because he insists on being on my lap. So it's it's harder when I'm playing a mouse and keyboard game for me to just flick my hand over. Wait, right, I'm gonna miss something. This feels like so much more than an opening. Also, this feels like a new mechanic. I don't remember this in, in any of the other games. Oh, oh, jeez. Okay. Christ, what the hell is that? A mannequin, you know, just hanging out. Maybe it's part of some old museum display or something. 
Right. That's probably it. The way it got so close, I was like, um... <laughs> something's about to happen. But I did not expect a mannequin, I'm gonna be honest. Mannequins creep me the fuck out, I hate them. Alright. This is such a long way to go. I would be so afraid that they would leave without me. Keep looking for people in the background. You coming? Yeah. Just looking at the light on the mist. How is that gonna fit into the show? It just caught my eye. Coming. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? Because crossover with Kate hasn't exactly... We agreed to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. Ooh. Locked tight. Come on. There must be another way. You sure? No. <laughs> I'm optimistic. <laughs> he reminds me of me. I am also not sure. Um. Oh, wait. There's something over here. I'm often not sure, but I will tell you I am. All right. Great Lake Post. Fish factory to Fish close. Factory to close. Exciting times. Hey, it might be exciting times. You leave those people alone. Okay, there's something over here. I have a feeling we're supposed to go through the skinny area. So let's check this first. Make sure there's nothing over here. All right, so what I know about this game I know that it was buggy. It had a lot of issues when it first came out. Oh, it's definitely locked. It had a lot of issues when it first came out. Um, I remember that I thought I wasn't going to get to play it, quite honestly. So at one point I was like, well, oh, wait a minute. I can climb in here. Sweet. Yes. Okay. 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 So at one point I was like, well, maybe I'll just watch someone else play it. So I tried to watch, I think it might have been Eurogamer play. Um, but they were having so many issues, and it was so, like, glitchy and bad. This thing hasn't been in ages. Why's the horn still going? Because they didn't decommission the fog. It's all automatic now. <laughs> they didn't decommission the fog. Um, I tried to watch them play it, and it was so bad that they, like, had issues with their stream. And I'm gonna be honest, I just kind of gave up, because I was like, well, there's no point in watching it. And then I just kind of forgot about it once it probably got better. So I'm not sure if it's still glitchy or not, but so far I've already seen some glitches. So read, please. 410-2000. Oh my god, that was so long ago. Keep it up, keep it up team. Oh my gosh, keep it up. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. Keep it up, team. This should be the final week. Last night's foghorn test was successful. Looks like the automation is up and running. We'll do one final trial today, and then we can pack away the kit. A couple of you have reported that homeless guy hanging around again. We're going to be bumping up security, um, the compound, and conducting final checks today, and tomorrow just to be on the safe side. Don't want anyone getting injured. Other than that, the work's been great all project. So let's keep up the pace and we'll be out of here by the end of the week. I read that really poorly. <laughs> I feel like I should get a break though. Um, for the same reasons I always bring up. But yeah, I definitely read that really poorly. Can I open? No, I can't even get to the cabinet. Okay. I don't want to miss anything. You guys know how I feel about missing things. I keep bumping my dog's nose every time I turn off the the uh, lighter. Or baby. He's probably like, what the hell? Alright, so I think we're probably supposed to go this way. Since it was a tight gap, it looks like it might lead around back. If they're this naughty though, and they're willing to just like go and say fuck it, I'm gonna trespass or whatever. Because they weren't told they could be here. Like, I don't know, I feel like they'd have bolt cutters on them or lock picks. Okay. Oh shit, we're going all the way prone, okay. First time I ever saw the word prone, I didn't know how you pronounce the word. And I kept thinking it was prawn. And then I said it to someone someday and I was like, 
yeah, you know, like, go prawn. And they were like, um, that's a food. That's a sea creature. It's prone. Remember, though, you can't make fun of people who pronounce words wrong. Because remember, they probably read the word, which means they were reading. Oh, come on. I didn't click it fast enough. Sometimes I don't. I am playing this uh, normally. Last time I played the game, I had uh, I had an eye patch on. This time I don't have one, thankfully. So I'm playing it normally. This looks pretty old. Oh, okay. Uh, characters can equip items. Yeah, we already know that. So I wonder if I can click a different button for this. Um, Charlie can use his tie clip to open locked boxes. All right, Charlie. What's that? It's an opal. Some old coin. Can be used to unlock dioramas. Oh, okay. Get up. All day long, you'll have some luck. Nice. Look, sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car. But you're the one who keeps the engine going. It's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. 